What's up, guys? Happy Easter Sunday. Hope everyone has a blessed day the rest of their weekend and uh, getting ready for that work week. But this is what we did this week. And let me turn this around. Do a quick follow-up on the video we just uploaded uh, the other day. Didn't get to use this in that video, but I personally enjoy this one when I'm taping alone. Um, it's just that one step. This beds the tape and this wipes it. So it's kind of like a two-in-one deal. So you don't need to use a roller. The flusher overall, the guys, uh, we all, always use the glazer, like I mentioned in the video. This is what majority of us here in Hawaii use. Uh, I feel that the springs on here make it a little easier. It's a little bit easier of a learning curve than the flushers. This one, you got a, there's no real spring, so it's up to you to create that pressure and get that nice clean wipe uh, and not, not over exert yourself but um i personally really enjoy the flushes because it's a cheap alternative to the glazer this glazer right here is about i want to say about eight nine years old uh i've never changed the blades once uh we've haven't babied it but we've taken care of it and it's lasted but uh i think it was around almost 400 bucks this glazer right here was about 150 160 so there is a price gap that being said, if you take care of either of these, they should last you years of service producing money. Uh, this one, uh, unfortunately, we haven't gotten used to it yet. So I'm thinking maybe when we hit 4,000, we'll do a giveaway um, of this Can-Am flusher. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the guys actually enjoyed this flusher more than the middle one, believe it or not. I guess because it's so... The plastic is kind of flimsy because, again, it's plastic, it's not metal. It was a little bit easier for them to just kind of uh, push it in and get it done. Uh, but, yeah, these surprisingly worked surprisingly well. So th this pack right here, perfect alternative if you only do uh, renovations and, and that kind of stuff. Or if you do drywall occasionally, you know, perfect. It's only 100 bucks and it comes with with the uh, this is more for like bedding the tape this if you put uh, mud with the compound tube you could actually coat it out so it's wide like the can -Am, which is pretty much what this flusher would be for if uh, I think it shines if you're into using the tubes and then you apply the mud first and then you use this to instead of hand coating you kind of just use it to coat it out uh, but since we rarely use tubes uh, unless it's like a small small job then uh, this one's not gonna get too much use but uh anyways enjoy all right Aloha. so all I did was take that Costco light that I showed in the other video this comes off and I put one of those uh, ties but it actually worked out pretty good so I'm gonna use it again and this is 500 lumens. There is some shadowing, but it's better than not having anything at all. And you could totally check your sandable areas. And it's super light. Texture is pow! Cheese! We got some light orange peel going on. Yeah, I decided to just stay here. We're not gonna go to the other job today. We're gonna focus on cleaning up everything nice, making sure everything's 100. Look at this butt joint. This 30 foot long butt joint. Yeah, the truss changes here was ridiculous. So, this stuff. 
nothing was landing. Nothing was landing this way. We had that backing, yeah, was, but we ended up with one of these bad boys. Overall, it came out good. Nice light orange peel. So now we just gotta clean up. Look at this view. bad boy took longer than I thought so I pretty much hung this put the uh, no coat and did the skylights there's a lot of no coat going on in there because it turns let's see if you can see there's more no coat up there so it's a total of eight but yeah so that's done that way Monday when I'm at the other job. I don't have to uh, concern myself about this being straight. Everything's solid, good. The guys can coat it out. And this is, this we have to, there's a quarter inch board to try to keep the ceiling height since uh, down here originally, believe it or not, the original, this is a rental, was that height. So it sat at about seven feet something around the size of that soffit. So it was pretty crazy. They went up as far as they could, and then they added all this intricate design. At the end, it's gonna look really nice, but it is a lot more detail for us. Uh, just this little corner right here, man hours. Uh, shucks, I don't know, I'd have to tally it, but um, I'm gonna for sure jot this down to make sure that on the next one there's detail like this, I consider the amount of time we're gonna spend fixing stuff <clears throat> but overall we're good we're on budget there's a uh, we're almost done the rest of the house is pretty much almost ready to finish sand this job is going to be a level four finish smooth so it's getting there we'll probably wrap this one up on tuesday this is going to have a free floating steps so it's gonna look nice. I'll try to get a video once everything's in. But anyways, oh, 